Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can see, I have my nail room tour. So I'm so freaking excited to show you guys. This is just an overview of my workspace. I'm really excited to show you, like I said, and um, I did want to say it looks like it's kind of a mess. You guys might see some stuff on my carpet because I have my vacuum broke and I couldn't vacuum before this video. And my cables are kind of everywhere. I have to figure out a better uh, cable situation. But anyways, you guys, let's get into it. So before we even get started, you guys, I really, really, really wanted to thank you for 10K, you guys. That's literally insane. I can't believe that there is more than 10K of you guys that like my channel. It literally blows my freaking mind, and I'm so grateful. I literally started crying when I saw that, so thank you so much. And I did just want to say that I have a huge giveaway coming for you guys very, very soon. But I do just um, want to collect stuff little by little, um, like a lot of different things, because I know some of the people that watch me are like, only for um like only do press-ons and then some people that watch me only do acrylic or poly jar or whatever it is so i want to make um different like little giveaways but all at the same time so that if you like only press-ons you can join the only press-on giveaway if you like acrylic and poly jar you can join that giveaway um so i'm collecting little stuff i really want to have good stuff in the giveaway for you guys so i want to buy like real, like acrylic brushes and like things like that that are um really nice giveaway things you know what i mean and it's for sure going to have lots of nail art. You guys already know I love nail art. And yeah, you guys, I just wanted to mention that really quickly and just say thank you again. Um, it literally means the world to me. And I have so many more videos coming for you guys. I know I always say that, but I literally do. I have so many videos that I already film because I genuinely love making videos for you guys. So yeah, thanks again. And now let's actually get into the video. So when you walk in, you see this cute little sign that I have on my door. It says, follow your heart. And I do have some paintings off to the left side, but I do really love this cute little sign. I just feel like it's really cute and I just have it hanging with a little door hanger. And then over here on this side, I have my UV um, light. I think it's called UV light or I don't know what it's called, but it's pink. And then I have some paintings that I painted myself. This is the first painting that I ever, ever painted. I have this really cute one that says life's too short for boring nails. I made this specifically for my room. I just made it super quick. I wanted something to put on this wall. And then um, that last painting at the end was another painting that I painted myself. And I love this wall, but I really wish I had something to put in the background. But I was saying that I might be moving in a few months. So I am just like not even going to worry about that. And I am going to link where I got this custom light down below. I got it from a website called AOOS.com. It did take like um, a while to arrive, but it's like so beautiful, you guys. I love it so, so much. And it's so pink and vibrant and cute. And then once you see this, you do see my air conditioner. It is kind of literally ugly and it's kind of an eyesore, but this room gets so freaking hot. So I literally have to have it there. And it really helps me with the smell of my room, um, like if with monomer or whatever liquid I'm using. And it helps um, keep the room really cool. And then on top of it, I have my Alexa. This just like I can play music and stuff on it. So I really like having that. And then I'm going to start with right here. So this is the back of the door. And right here, you could see this little painting that I got from a small business. I actually got it a long time ago and I don't think she sells them anymore, but it's really cute. It's a little peach. And right here, I have all a bunch of nails that I've done. I actually DIY'd both of these canvases. You guys have probably already seen that video. It's on my channel. It's a DIY nail room decor video. And I DIY'd this and this in that video with my old nail polishes. And it's really cute. They're all dried up and it looks like they're just spilling on my canvas. And then on here, I just have a bunch of a bunch of nails that I've done here on my channel and as practice and stuff. And I'm actually thinking of um, doing a new one, like a big canvas with a whole bunch of nails on it because I have practiced a lot since I made this. And I have this cute little plant holder, but it doesn't have a plant inside because I literally killed the plant that was in there. I suck at taking care of plants. I wish I didn't suck, but I do. Okay, you guys, so I'm coming in from voiceover. I literally had to take over because something happened to my audio. I think when I was holding my camera on my phone, my hand was like covering it a little bit. Or I mean, holding my phone, not on my camera. Um, anyway, so right here I have a handmade shelf. It's just literally a plywood with some acrylic organizers on it. And I think it's really, really cute. I will link the acrylic organizers down below or the acrylic shelves so that you guys can DIY this at home. If you have a power drill or if anyone you know has a power drill, you can ask them to borrow it or you can use your own and then literally just drill these into a little piece. It's not even like a plywood. It's like this like thing that you can get at Home Depot. It's like already painted white 
and it's really really nice so you guys can definitely use that to make your own little shelf at home so you don't have to buy um you know a whole shelf like this or you can literally just drill those acrylic shelves into your wall whatever you do, you prefer so over here is the other side of my room and i do have this chair and i have a carpet right there um so i'm just gonna go ahead and sit down so you guys can see what the view looks like so this is like the view i guess you can say i do have a pillow sitting there on my chair because if you guys do nails and you guys do like sit at your desk a lot it literally will hurt your back and like hurt your butt if your chair is not comfortable so right here i do just have a little hand sanitizer it's my favorite scent from bath and body works the black cherry merlot it smells so good i have this cute little cuticle oil sign um just in case anyone comes to my room and they would like to buy one i do have a little cute little canvas that i made right there um, this is my table and then I have my cuticle oils that I made with my assistant and then I have my practice hands from some nails that I did in some past videos if you guys watched them the yeah they kind of don't fit like the left ones fit but, like the right ones don't and then right there I have the really cute little salt rock or salt lamp I don't know what that is but I actually got that at Goodwill I showed it in a haul that I had um in a video and then um i have my acrylic brushes i have some crystals for all the good vibes the good energy i have this really cute little holder thing where i have my most used tweezers and my little scissors uh the tweezers i use specifically for nails only and it's like to pick up little stickers or decals or whatever from um like paper or whatever it is so i have that and then i have my current powder dish this one's so so cute i did show this in a haul as well and i did also get that from goodwill and yeah you guys this is my desk i'm just showing you guys a little overview this desk i got over a year ago and i really do love it my father-in-law actually custom made the top part for me like the marble and he put it on there and then he also cut me two little holes for two little dappin dishes it's behind my lamp i don't know if i show you guys or not but um it is back there as well and i do have this desk i really like the top because it doesn't get scratched and i'm just telling you guys here that if you see like all kinds of stuff out it's because i was doing a soak off earlier and yeah you guys this is my lamp i was saying that um i don't really recommend this lamp that's why i never like tell you guys once people ask me because i've had this lamp for less than a year i don't know how often you're supposed to switch them out but it's like already flickering on me and kind of turns off on its own so that's kind of weird and i need to get a new one really really bad and then right here i was just showing you guys like a quick overview like i kind of try to zoom out a little bit but um that's my filming setup and then I was literally showing you guys my cat that's literally sitting there and <laughs> it's so funny anyways um so this is how it looks I did have something else on this table before like my markers and stuff but I did move it and then this is what you see from my side so I don't really see much I do wish I had like some curtains on the thing like some pink curtains or something but it's okay and this is my filming um little gooseneck holder I guess you could say it's like not the best it kind of sucks honestly i've had it since i started filming like my first time ever and it was like a cheap one from amazon i really need a new one i feel like i deserve one because i've worked really hard so if you see like weird um like things in my video it's because it literally um doesn't hold my phone that good anymore and right here i was showing you guys that i have my most important stuff the stuff i use all the time so i have like my cuticle oil i have my top coat, I have nail glue, and just everything that I'll need. Um, so yeah, I was showing you guys my cuticle oil. I made that myself. My eye gel beauty, it's my favorite top coat. And then um, my McCart rhinestone gel. I have some Mia Secret hand sanitizer that I spray on everyone and myself. And then I have my most used nail art brushes right there. My acrylic brushes were in that little salt lamp in the back or the rock or whatever it's called. And then, um, yeah, you guys, I do have these two extra lights that are here, like this one light. Um, honestly, they don't do much, but I do have them because I feel like it changes the lighting in the room. Up here, I was just showing you guys that this is usually pretty much empty because I like to put my computer here or my iPad or something so that people can watch movies if they come. Um, or so that I can put my computer up there. But right now I have my barber side and I have some stuff soaking at the moment. I have my small little, um, powder jar that I actually got from TJ Maxx and I showed it in a haul a few videos back. And then, you guys, I'm going into the first drawer, I think. 
let me see yeah okay so right here i was just showing you guys my first drawer so this drawer is like in the middle i was saying that this looks dirty but it's not dirty i just got acetone on it and i love this container for sanding bands i feel like they're really protected because it has a lid so you're making sure that there's no dust or anything going into your sanding bands honestly that kind of freaks me out like i think about it and i'm like okay but what if like something gets in there like i don't know so um i want to get one of those for these little drill bits too but i don't remember where i got that freaking container i was like i think i got it from dollar tree but i feel like i didn't because i've never seen it there again so anyways i got some scissors in here i use those literally every day and then i have some band-aids and stuff for myself whatever i may need and then a bunch of lint-free wipes i use those literally like in, like crazy i go through packs like crazy and in this next drawer i have my most used nail tips so i have my tulip nail supply extra extra long square tips those are really, really nice. Those are full cover, so for press-ons. And then I have my Zule C-Curve, which I use for acrylic or poly gel or whatever you want to use them for. Um, those are just like regular tips. And then I have my full cover McCart. Um, I mean, yeah, there it says BT Art Box, but I just buy the McCart ones and put them in there because it's like way easier. You know what I mean? The McCart ones come in a bag, so I have those in there. And then I do also have this drawer and this drawer has kind of a mess. Um, you guys have seen me organize this in my organize with me video, but it's literally a mess again because I use this drawer like crazy. You guys, it has markers. It's kind of like my office decor. Um, I mean, not decor, office supplies like drawer. I use all this stuff, scissors, extra pens, whatever And then right is, here in I this next drawer, stuff. I do just have my kind of like press on and extras, I guess you can say. So like... This is just like extra press on um, stands that I don't use. I don't really like those. I use the other kind. I have some extra Gorilla Glue um, putty. I have some tape and then some little rings that I occasionally will throw into orders. I usually had a lot of gold ones, but I use them all up. So I need to restock on those. And then um, I do just have some nail tabs, sticky nail tabs. I have some alcohol wipes some cuticle pushers or orange wood sticks and then i have some nail glue and some different types of nail files i have these ones which i really love those are the ones i usually put in all my orders but these pink and blue ones i had to get because i didn't realize i ran out of the other ones um and i had to purchase those and those came way faster and the white ones arrived too late and then i do just have some nail stickers or not nail stickers some cute stickers that i just throw into my orders there's like butterflies flowers strawberries like just a bunch of cute ones that i just throw in there just to add a little touch and then down here i do just have some random stuff as well i have a um a bunch of different types of little baggies like organza bags i have some little what are these called cellophane bags i think so i have those and then yeah you guys i just have a bunch of cute stuff in here um basically just stuff that i always need i was showing you guys i'm sorry about like the mess all over the floor it's because i had some flowers sitting up there and they died because i mentioned that this room gets really really hot so um if you see like flower petals and like little things all over the floor it's most likely either rhinestones that literally spilled everywhere the other day or flower petals which is like what's on the ground and then right there i have my buffers and then my nail files these are all brand new and these are what i use like on the daily so i have them right next to me and then down here is just kind of like an extra drawer it's like pretty much um extras of everything so it's literally extra gloves extra masks extra extra different types of tips um extra little small garbage bags in case i need to throw them away like throw stuff away and then um literally I'm in the bottom of all this stuff i have like extra glue like whatever it is i rummage through that drawer a lot so it's kind of a mess i was showing you guys how my drawers have a bunch of gel polish on all over them and then um i think i was going to show you guys my last drawer right here so this is like one of my favorite drawers because it smells so good this is all my essential oils. I have my lavender, my rose, whatever it is. And then I have vitamin E oil in here. Um, my nail glue dryer, just an extra one. And then I have an extra refill of eye gel beauty top coat. And then, yeah, you guys. So that's pretty much it for that brown drawer. And then I was showing you guys this side right here. But I was just saying that we're going to get to it in a second. Um, I was showing you guys how this is like my favorite part. The part that's like all decorated and cute. I love that because I like when people have stuff to look at if they come into my room and so right here I was just showing you guys how um up here I have my boxes and stuff and then I was gonna start right here so 
up there I have a cute little sign that my best friend gave me. I have my air purifier, another mini air purifier that can go on the table. I have this cute little wall plug-in from Bath & Body Works. I have this cute galaxy painting that I did. I have this cute painting that I did as well with some palm trees a long time ago. And then I have my little calendar thing. It's a whiteboard calendar. I haven't even used it or filled it up. And it's already at the end of the month, so I need to change it out to July. But I really like that. And then on the bottom of that, I do just have my school certificate. I did already graduate nail school a while ago, so I did, do have that there. And then I have my Madame Glam gel paints, some Young Nail gel paints, some Raya's nails, and just a bunch of miscellaneous brands. Right here, I was showing you guys how this is literally my favorite part of the room. I feel like it really just makes everything look nice. This whole entire shelf is just custom built, you guys. It's like a whole entire... Um, just custom built little thing by my father-in-law so it's um really really nice and i love it because it fits gel polishes and everything so perfectly up there i have a little sign that says i just want to drink coffee create stuff and sleep and then i have a cute painting that i did i think i show you guys right here i hand painted this little canvas so it's really cute and then i have a nail supply glamour little box and then a little panda thing right here i just have a bunch of random stuff i have this cute painting that i did some marilyn monroe because she's so cute and then i have a follow your heart sign again i have one on my door and then right here and then i have a little painting that i did with my baby rosie um she's my uh boxer and then i have my little Disney stuffed animals that I got when I went to Disneyland. I have these really, really cute signs that says, I do nails, what's your superpower? And then send me nudes. You guys need these for your nail area. Oh my gosh, I can't stress this enough. I'm literally gonna tag the creator down below so you guys can purchase them. I have that painting that I did with oil paints in the back. And then I just have a few swatch sticks. I don't have all of my gel swatched because I feel like it's gonna take so freaking long to do. But um, yeah, you guys. So up here, I do just have some Valentino um, acrylics right there. I mainly just use the cover colors, pinks, and like nudes. So I also have some Young Nails because I did purchase two of the mystery boxes for Thanksgiving time. And it did come with a lot of colors that um, I didn't have. So I have a lot of Young Nails right there. And then I do have some Knot Polish. I really love Knot Polish and I get those from Tulip Nail Supply. And then next to that i just have some backups of eye gel beauty gel polishes that i don't want to run out of i have some yaklin acosta uh, acrylic powders and then i have some glitter bells so that's pretty much what i have up there i had it pretty much full but i always like take my colors down and then take it like i don't know like i literally just throw my stuff everywhere um I'm like really bad at keeping things organized you guys and then right there I do just have my gel polishes I have um my D&D &D basically is like what I have and I have a lot of eye gel beauty because when they first had their sale I really really went crazy and bought a lot of eye gel beauty when they first came out with it when they first came out with their sale and um so yeah you guys I'm just showing you guys how it's kind of organized by brand only and then that's pretty much what it's organized by and yeah so I don't know what I was doing here yeah I just have some DND regular right there I have some what is that bio seaweed gel I think yeah okay I just do come forward so I have bio seaweed gel I have some miscellaneous brands right here and then I have some eye gel beauty alcohol inks I really love those those are so fun and then I have some eye gel beauty glow colors and then I have a bunch of regular DND I was saying here that these are like some of the first gel polishes I've ever owned and I just keep them because I love them so much and then I do have my newer or not newer but like eye gel beauty that I've got like around a few months ago and then I have a bunch of DND DC I love DND DC you guys I love the glitter collections like these right here is like what I was showing you you guys should definitely get those I get them from tulip nail supply as well if you were wondering and then um that's pretty much what I use for my glitter. So if you guys see like glitter press-ons, that's pretty much what I use. And then, um, yeah, I do have a bunch of regular eye gels, like the black bottles. And yeah, so right here I just have a bunch of brushes that I don't really use that much. I'll like, I'll like turn around and grab some every once in a while. But as of right now, I don't use them that much. And then I just have a bunch of extra brands right there of top coat, base coat, matte top coat um foil gel basically just color like not not colors just like 
type of clay clear top coat things and then i have odorless monomer right there some markers and right here i have tips and then on the other side i have boxes so right there i was showing you guys um that i didn't have really, really any space to put these so i had to put them behind me that i don't really have anywhere else where i can put them and like easily grab them when i'm like working so i do have a bunch of nail tips here these are all of my full cover tips i do have a bunch of different ones um that's like a reason why i have so much stuff you guys if you just do press ones or if you just do acrylic you might have less stuff but it's because i do like both so i have so many things in my room and i need so much storage so right here i have like um different shapes of tips i think i was showing you guys like my square my new like stiletto one and i was showing you guys that i did get these boxes from email couture a long time ago like when they were like two dollars like now i don't know how much they cost but i bought them when they were really cheap and um i do have like backups of them because i really liked how they were pink so like anything pink i'll literally die for like i'm like i need it so i do have that and then i also just um have some extra long tips right there and i really don't use those that much and then i have some full cover regular tips and then i have right here like my most used stickers like stickers that i'll probably gravitate towards more and these are like just in this little cute basket that i got from dollar tree and i think i got it during like uh valentine's day time and yeah it's really really cute i love it i have two of them and i have markers back there as well and then down there i have like hospital grade disinfectant for my table and I disinfect everything really good. And then I have usually lots of paper towels down there, like extras, but I ran out. And then I have my extra dust collector and stuff like that. So over here is where I'm going to start next. So it's kind of like a mess over here. Um, I mean, not a mess. It's kind of like all over the place, to be honest. Right here, I have this cute sign. It says, there is no limit to what we as women can accomplish. And I love that sign. It's just so cute. I like when every woman that comes in my room can read it and just feel good about themselves so i also have a bunch of extra powder dishes that i bought in a different hauls that cute little dog dish that i got from goodwill and i have a bunch of just my most used like acetone swipe by young nails alcohol uh nail glue dryer some hand sanitizer and just a bunch of stuff that i may need i also have my brush cleaner and i was telling you guys that i got those cute little baskets like during springtime from the dollar store so yeah I was, I was just saying that right there and then um i think i'm gonna get into let me see i don't remember like what i was telling you guys uh, i was telling you guys that i always have a candle burning this is the one i have burning right now honestly this candle smells so good in the store at bath and body works but like when i was burning it, it was kind of giving me a headache maybe because i was like really hungry i'll like literally sit down and work for like eight hours straight and i'll forget to freaking eat like anything so it could have been because of that and I'm not really sensitive to smells but it did smell good but then after burning it for like a long time it did get kind of like I don't know strong. So right here I have a bunch of cute rings and this little ring holder that I think I got from Amazon. I'll link it down below so you guys can definitely get one for your room. I use all of those rings for my nail pictures and I get them on AliExpress. So I'll also link some cute rings down below as well that you guys can probably look at and buy. And then I do always have a candle. That's my favorite candle I was telling you guys right there. I never want it to run out um it's like a fall scented one fall scents are like my favorite scents so like i wanted to run out and then right here i was showing you guys how these two are really old containers or like drawers i want to get rid of them and do all white so that it can match because it looks like too much too much going on but i did have those two since i first first started doing nails so um i do want to get rid of them soon and like change them out and um yeah you guys so right here in my first drawer i have my rhinestone container this is like my most used rhinestones my favorite rhinestone container ever um like as far as the way it looks not like the the holder itself and then right here i have um some my regular rhinestones flat backs and some colored ones and i do get those containers from walmart um in store not online i have my little thing for my candles and then i just have some random miscellaneous things there um stuff that i don't really use and then right here it's also just like a kind of a mess you guys i have some extra backups of the my favorite um nude gel polishes i always tell you guys that ruffle trim and cozy cashmere by eye gel are the best also i'm blushing is the best color too if you're looking for some good nail bed colors i always recommend those to people and then i have an old nail nail drill bit holder and then right here i have all of my swarovski crystals I have this one right here, which holds like mainly shapes and some flatbacks right there. 
I think I'm gonna open it and show you guys yeah I open it and show you what they look like they're so so pretty oh my gosh I love them and then um, I realized I didn't even show you guys my other container so I don't know if I show you too and um, down there I just have my regular flatback ones the ones that I got from Michaels a while back when they were having a sale so in here I, I was just saying that I didn't show you guys because you guys have probably seen it in my videos already and then um, right here is just my flatback container that I've had for years you guys I've had this first container for years and I've collected rhinestones so so much because I always look for the best quality I don't like using plastic rhinestones I use like mainly only glass like 98% of the time like the other ones that I have that are plastic I try to get rid of um, in here I have some tips that I use on my mom and then I have just a bunch of random um, kind of like nail art stuff and then down here it's kind of a mess and then down there it's even more of a mess so yeah just don't mind that you guys and then right here is my favorite drawer this is like my newest one I have this to store all of my press on stuff so this one's like basically press on only um, I do have them kind of organized really well and then I have um, little labels on them that I did with tape and sharpie I literally just uh, wrote on the tape and then it's an easy way for you to label your drawers without having to like get an actual sticker or like a dymo I think it's called dymo printer or whatever um, and then right here I have one that's called uh, prepped orders I believe so these are all of my orders that have been prepped as in filed buffed or whatever and I do have them labeled with little stickers or not stickers papers of who they belong to and then right here I do have my most important stuff so I have like my appointment book if I do happen to take appointments I don't really take appointments right now like at all because I'm so busy with press ons I have so many orders right now so I mainly just do that for right now and then I have my um what's this called my book for press on orders so I write them down and I write down like their name their email their I write down their full name like their regular name and then I write down their Instagram name I write down their sizes in every single type of shape that they've ordered so if they ever want to order from me again I already have their sizes written down and I can remember it so um right there I do have my iPad this is literally a lifesaver you guys this was like a recent thing that I got like just a few months ago and I really do love it it really helps me out so I don't, I don't have to like constantly switch from my phone um like having to clear out like my pictures if I'm looking at a set that I'm doing for press ons and then I have to like clear it out and then go back and look at the person's message to see what they ordered or you know things like that like it's kind of like a hassle so I can do like multitask at the same time and sometimes it really helps because I can put like a YouTube video on here while I'm on my phone replying to messages or on my phone looking at the picture of the nails that I'm doing if that makes sense so I do um, really love that it really helps me out and then I have this really cute um, little size kit drawer um it is kind of empty it's literally only has one and i have those three that i have to take to the post office literally asap so um i have that i need to make more and then right there i have my stands so these are all of my press on stands i do have more on the way but i do need more of them um and then usually these are all full with orders i just need to prep some more and then right here i have my packing supplies so i have thank you uh stickers that i can put on the bubble mailers i have the little tape that you stick the press ons on with and then i just have um some extra stickers and stuff and here I have half order so I put like half order because these are orders that are half finished so the ones I have to go back and finish usually I'll do multiple orders at a time sometimes I have to take them off of my desk because I'm doing something else for example earlier I was doing a soak off and then right there the drawer is literally empty but I'll definitely find something to put in there soon and then right here I have to be shipped so these are orders that are all ready to go and then I have poly mailers on the bottom so the to be shipped one is like orders that are ready to go to the post office and i need to like mail them out so like that's like those right there and then this one's just application kits that are already made and then this one is um just some extra masks that i need sometimes when like because like dust will get in your face and stuff and it's kind of like bad so then right here i do just have a bunch of bubble mailers um i have smaller ones and then i have some six by ten i usually only six by ten and those um, I'll link below in case you guys were interested but then right here I do have some extra nail supplies and just some random stuff down there and then um, going into these drawers right here 
these are all kind of literally a mess like they're all over the place you guys bear with me so right here I do just have my airbrush and then a bunch of hot glue and then my hot glue gun and I do use that kind of often and then I have down here my acrylic powders so my goal is to have these out of an acrylic drawer and have them on a shelf like this one like another shelf for my powders that looks like this one so I really want to do that um, eventually one day maybe in a few months and then I can display all my colors up but right now they're in here I don't like them in here because they take up so much space you guys and as you can see I can't even fit another color like I can't so I do have these kind of organized these are like blues and greens and like teal kind of colors like turquoise and then I have a bunch of like mini ones that I was showing you guys that are kind of um like that I don't use that much they're like from me a secret and just born pretty a bunch of different random brands and then down here I have some young nail slick pour and then I have a bunch of these little like charms these are like not charms they're like I don't know what these are called like gold decals or whatever um I have those like for encapsulating and I love those I love using those for nail art down here I have like pinks oranges um light pinks and like different colors so I kind of have them semi-organized for the color like combos and as you can see I literally can't fit space like I can't fit another I mean I don't have any more space I can't fit another color in here it's just really really packed to the brim and I've been wanting to buy new colors so that I can start using them on my channel and stuff but I, like I can't because I don't have a lot of space for more so like right here I can probably fit some but I have some model ones and just extra nail supply glamour uh, nail supply glamour is like my favorite acrylic brand and here I have a bunch of charms these are like all of my most used charms and then some pointed back stones they're really cute I was just showing you guys and then um, down here on the bottom I just have some extra charms a new container that I'm starting to fill and then um, some extra just JC Beauty Concepts um, acrylic powders. I love their acrylic powders and their monomers, the monomer that I use and I love it. And then right here I have some chromes. I have a bunch of foils that come in a box. So sometimes they come in boxes and I just put them there. Down here it's kind of a mess and then down here it's just kind of a mess as well but I have some charms in there like the big ones. And then, and then in this drawer right here I have all of these like little nail art pieces, glitters and dried flowers and whatever it is that come in these type of little boxes. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, I have these in one specific drawer. It's kind of getting really full as well. And then in here this drawer is also getting really full. This is a bunch of regular loose glitters. I was telling you guys how I literally want to organize this really really nice but it's kind of like drives me crazy how they're all in separate containers. So I literally want to do the most and organizing them in the same container like buying containers that are all the same like buying like a hundred of them or more and then putting my glitters transferring them into the same container so that they can be nice and organized that is my goal right now you guys but I was saying that I don't want to organize um these just yet because I was telling you guys that I wanted to switch these out for a white container so either way I'm gonna have to take everything out so once I get my white drawers I'm gonna put them in white drawers instead and I'll organize all of them really really beautiful and nice I'll probably film that so you guys can see the process um I'm kind of thinking of like literally just waiting and keeping these until I have my um dream like acrylic powder holder like that one like the hanging rack I want another one like that so maybe I'll do everything all at once I'm not really sure you guys it might be better to do it all at once so that I don't have to like you know um film like two videos I'd like to like put it all in one video for you guys and yeah I was just saying how right here that's like what I was saying like that I just want to wait to organize everything so it's kind of a mess and here I have even more glitters just a bunch of random brands and then I also have some um loose glitters and bags and then i have some pigment powders as well and some chromes and then down here i have even more glitter but these are in bigger containers these are literally glitter mixes that i mixed myself i just mix a bunch of colors and i love them they're really pretty and down here i have kind of a mess it's just random stuff more glitters just little stuff like this and um it's kind of like just whatever um bags and then down here I have even more files and you guys I'm literally that crazy person that will try to buy every type of file to try and find the best one because I'm really really picky with my files like if I buy a pack of files and it doesn't work good that same day I will go and order a new pack because I don't like when I have to like use two files for one set because the file dulls out so fast 
or if um, it's like really flimsy, like bendable. I don't like that either. I'm just really picky with my file files. And there it's kind of a mess. It's kind of a mess over there. And then I was just telling you guys, I promise you don't even care about that. It's just like random stuff. So yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it for the overview of my room. I really hope you guys liked it for my, like, that's pretty much it for my video. And oh yeah, I was just saying in here, um, it's really a mess. I just have boxes and a bunch of extra um stuff like up there i keep my barber side my gallons of acetone and things like that that i just don't want to be out into the world i have like chlor extra clorox wipes some lysol and stuff like that in the closet so i just keep that in there and then yeah you guys i was just showing you guys this stuff right here i have my apron hanging there i was trying to see if i've missed anything and then yeah you guys so this is literally my room um, I really hope you guys liked this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know if I was talking way too fast and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!